The coldest oceans are located in two remote regions at the Earth's poles, stretching across 14 million square kilometers. The Arctic Ocean is a frozen ocean, surrounded by the land of three continents. In contrast, at the South Pole is the Antarctic Ocean, surrounding the frozen landmass and covering an area of 22 million squared kilometers. A wide variety of species can be found living in these cold, icy ecosystems. Colossal animals like whales and orcas, as well as seabirds, migrate to and from these regions in search of abundant prey. Polar bears roam the Arctic, covering over 80 kilometers a day in search of food. Iconic species, including the beluga whale, narwhal and walrus, along with several different species of seal, navigate Arctic waters. Meanwhile, in the Antarctic, we find the largest seal of all, the southern elephant seal. Weighing in at over 3,700 kilograms, Amongst the many magnificent seabirds that call these waters their home, there are 18 different species of penguins, including the king, rockhopper, and gentoo penguin. The larger, more charismatic species tend to gain the most attention, but it's the smallest organisms who are key to their survival. The entire polar food web begins with tiny photosynthetic organisms. Phytoplankton, ice algae, and other small organisms play a crucial role in the polar food web. In Antarctica, krill support a variety of different species. Somewhat surprisingly, the poles also have a thriving community of bottom dwellers. Of course, it's not just the animals that make this landscape so special. The polar oceans are vital to life on Earth. Sea ice formation drives the ocean conveyor belt, redistributing heat and dissolved nutrients around the globe. Cooler waters at the poles can absorb more carbon dioxide and draw this into the deep ocean as they descend, locking it away. The Arctic is also home to four million people, including many indigenous groups. Despite their unmistakable importance to us and all life on Earth, the poles are some of the fastest warming places on Earth. Rapidly increasing temperatures driven by climate change are causing polar ice to melt at a rate of around 10% per decade. With this melting comes habitat loss for species which directly depend on sea ice. Waterways are opening up and people are looking to the poles to extract oil and gas. Increases in these activities puts both wildlife and local communities at greater risk of oil spills, accidents and pollution. Without effective management, exploitation could damage these spectacular waters forever. But it's not all doom and gloom. Scientists are measuring how the polar regions are changing to help conservation efforts. They are investigating how ice melt could impact not only local inhabitants, but the rest of our planet through changing ocean currents, sea level rise and positive feedback loops. And you can help too. Why not become a virtual citizen scientist through the Penguin Watch digital platform? Vote for governments that are committed to tackling carbon emissions. And sign and share the petition by only one, who are calling for the protection of Antarctica's waters. The polar seas may seem like a world far removed from our own, but that doesn't mean we're unable to have a direct positive impact on their future. <laughs>